guys, this is Jarde with Third Generation Conjure. If you don't know who we are, we are a spiritual company that specializes in products catered to uh, mostly hoodoo, but we are a spiritual company. We offer um, candles, oils, baths, spiritual services on our site. We also offer readings. So I haven't did this in a while, so I decided to do some monthly readings for the different zodiac signs so we're going to look at the month of september and what uh september holds this month okay so the first card we're going to pull we're going to look at some current things this month all right all right and what are some challenges and we are doing the sign of sagittarius okay so what are some challenges for Sagittarius this month? Oh, my cards are flipped over. All right, and um, what's just some general advice this month? And what are some things um, that Sagittarians may need to look forward to this month? All right, Sagittarius. Okay, so this month we are looking at some common themes. We have the Six of Pentacles and we have the Stacked Horn God. Okay, so with the Six of Pentacles, I look at this as a card of charity. Okay, so this is getting what you deserve. A lot of times it can represent that, but it can also represent giving back to other people. So that may be a common theme. It may be people asking you for money. It may be you dedicating your time um, to help someone else. That looks like it's a common theme within this month. All right, and with the sad corn God, this is all about um, divine expression of masculine energy. Okay, and this card is about paying attention to detail. So if you got you got something going on this month, it is a card of paying attention to the details. Okay, rather than the ultimate vision, it's a card of being in the moment. Okay, so make sure that that's something that you're doing. But it focuses on material uh, abundance and gain, and it also focuses on energy. Okay, um, and it also relates to. Um, you know, if you're getting into any kind of new business ventures and anything related to a career, that's going to be a common theme for you this month and something that you're focusing on. Maybe some new business ventures um, coming up for you. But it's a card of like of providing counseling. Um, it's a card of teaching. OK. All right. So then next we have um, some upcoming challenges um, for you this month. Okay, so we have the Fool and we also have the Cauldron. Okay, so the Fool is um, is a new perspective a lot of times. It's the leap into the unknown. So it is a journey, as you will say. So you may have some challenges with um, leaping out on faith or pursuing something because you may be scared of the outcome or you may feel like it's not going to work out or it's not going to be successful. So that's going to be a challenge for you this month. It's the fear of the unknown. Okay, then we have the cauldron card. And the cauldron is all about manifestation. It's something on the brink of manifestation. You know, signifying the brewing and the bubbling, something getting ready to manifest. So you need to let go of that fear and allow it to manifest, okay? If you don't, your manifestation, you know, you can kind of cut it out all right so then next we have um some advice for this month and we have the knight of pentacles and we also have the crone all right so i want to talk about the crone first okay so the crone is all about contemplation and it's about reflection, okay? The crone represents those who are advisors, who are mentors, who are counselors. So this may be something that you guys are getting into this month, or it could basically tell you 
that you may need to listen to your counselors and your teachers, okay? Those who are teaching you um, at this moment, okay? So with the Chrome, this is about using energy wisely, okay? So make sure that you're not wasting energy this month because it could turn out to be the start of something big, okay? All right, so then we have the Knight of Pentacles, and this is about tangible process, okay? Progress, I'm sorry. It's about patience, and it's about um, meeting new people. Um, it's usually um, concerning money or income. This is can be unexpected sources of income, you know? So you may be getting some unexpected money this month. Um, it's also about planning. You know, we talked about up here, um, you know, paying attention to details, okay? All right, and, um, you know, this is all about, like I said, new experiences. If you are in the process of maybe starting some kind of business venture, this is a good card um, advising you to dedicate your time to it, you know, with this card, the wise use of energy and resources. All right, so then we have some things to expect this month, and we have the chariot, okay? So the chariot, I see this as a card of movement. You know, it could be something going on with getting a new car. It could be an issue with your current car. You know, this is just something to look forward to, but I see this as a lot of times it could literally represent um, a vehicle or it could represent, you know, traveling, okay? And then lastly, we have the voice of the wind and the voice of the wind is about answering your higher calling okay so you know a lot of you within this month may be embarking on your higher calling and feeling like you're finding your purpose in life you know that's something to expect you may have an aha moment of you know what you feel like your purpose and your higher calling is this month okay all right so that was it for sagittarius and until next time guys bye bye